What's up guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Morgan. I'm a UX designer in the financial services industry. I make videos talking about my career transition to UX design, how you can transition as well, as well as the pain of existence. If that kind of content interests you, make sure to hit subscribe. Today's video is going to be uh, very casual. It's not scripted or anything. It's just something I wanted to talk about because I've spoken about uh, boot camps and stuff in my experience before, but I feel like some of the really important information would get buried in my ranting. So I just wanted to make a quick video because um, I've actually been getting asked questions at work. You know, people are friends who want to get into UX design or uh, co-workers or even people who are in different departments have been sent to me because people know that I transitioned careers to UX design. Um, if you don't know, I attended Career Foundry as my UX design boot camp. Uh, I started out as a digital marketer and uh, switched over. Um, I signed up for Career Foundry in November of 2020 graduated at the end of April of 2021 and I was hired by Vanguard in November of 2021 and I've been working there as a UX designer ever since. I just want to go over a few important questions that I've been asked that I think are the um, important deciding factors of choosing to do a boot camp or not uh, or transitioning careers in general. So a question that I uh, get asked is was my boot camp worth it? I think the fact that I have um, a job at what I would describe as my dream company uh, could tell you that, yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> um, but Career Foundry was worth it because I made it worth it. There are a lot of people who attend Career Foundry or other boot camps, but then they don't do anything with it. So I've said this a million times, but I'm going to say it again. So uh, hopefully if you're an aspiring UX designer who hasn't been on my channel before, I want you to understand your boot camp is what you make of it. You can't just take the project that you do in your boot camp and apply to jobs and expect to get something high quality. Like that might sound kind of rude, but uh, if you have a portfolio that looks just like everybody else's or you only have one case study, you're probably only going to get hired by like um, a very new business or a very small business and if that's what you're looking for and you want to get your experience by working that's awesome uh, I feel like that's not what most people want I feel like a lot of people switch careers they're probably already a couple years into their career they don't want to start at the bottom again I know again that sounds rude um, but I feel like that's the reality of it is that people want to do UX design to move up in their careers rather than like start at the bottom again. So if you want to get like a higher quality um, position, you're going to need to do case studies outside of your boot camp. Now I say, you know, boot camp doesn't have to be a boot camp. It doesn't have to be my boot camp. Uh, you have to really focus on your learning style. This is again something that I said a million times, but I'm putting it in this video so that way hopefully aspiring UX designers see it. Um, you need to find out what works for you because that's really what matters. If you're a person who needs someone to teach them, you need to interact with someone, and you can't do self-directed learning, that's fine and that's normal. But then the boot camp that you're going to have to do is probably going to be more expensive. Like General Assembly, I believe, is over $15,000, but they do that type of learning. So if you want to save money and you're like, oh, well, I'll just do Career Foundry then. Career Foundry is great. You have a mentor, you have a tutor, but it is a lot of self-directed learning. There's not um, scheduled classes or anything like that. So it may not be right for you. And then you may blow like six, seven thousand dollars on something that's half the price of General Assembly, but not actually learn anything and then not change careers as a result. So you sort of just wasted seven thousand um, dollars. So you've got to sort of determine how badly do you want it? <laughs> or you need to be honest with yourself about what type of learning works for you. If you want to give UX design a whirl without uh, spending a ton of money, there is the Google UX professional certificate. Um, you can get Coursera Plus for, I believe, $400 for the year. Uh, and then that certification is one of the things within Coursera Plus. So you would essentially be getting that certification and whatever other ones you want for $400 if you complete it within the year. You can also audit the courses, 
which means you don't get the certificate, but you do get access to the content. So if you want to get a taste of what learning UX design is like and what type of things you need to understand, that's probably a good place to start. And then you can make a decision from there of which way do you want to go, boot camp, self-learning, maybe UX design isn't for you, maybe you were looking for something else. Now, of course, if you do decide that you want to do Career Foundry, I do have a 5% off referral code in the description. You will get 5% off of your boot camp. And disclaimer, I will be getting 5% of that as well. I have to tell you that if UX design is something that you know you want to do and you know your learning style, the investment's going to be worth it. Um, UX design salaries are very competitive. I can tell you that I tripled what I was making um, in marketing. Um, I, yeah, my, my salary went up quite a lot for an entry position and I'm very happy in my career. I'm very happy with the work that I'm doing and I have benefits and everything and it's really nice and I'm working for what I would consider my dream company. So um, the ROI is pretty good. If you're spending 15,000 even on a boot camp, if you can save up for that or if you can afford um, to finance it, which I never recommend financing anything, but I understand that uh, some people are in a position where they have no other options. If you know that you're going to be able to grind through and you're not just someone who constantly picks things up and drops them, which I've come into contact with a lot of people who have hit me up on LinkedIn and stuff and been like, oh yeah, well, I stopped after the second lesson because I, I didn't like the content and like the second lesson of the immersion course. And it's like, yeah, that's all the, the boring stuff of like documentation, but it's part of the job. Like at least Career Foundry is telling you like, yeah, this is something that you're gonna have to do and it's boring, but it's important. So if you're actually ready to do a real job and not just expect this to be like this super creative position where everybody bowed up, bows down to your um, opinions and everything, like you need to be prepared for the fact that this is a job. You will be working for other people uh, unless you are like starting your own business <laughs> and you're a UX designer in that sense, maybe your chief experience officer of your own company or something. Uh, you're going to be working for other people. You're going to have to take um, other people's leads. So just be prepared for that. Um, but if you know that you're going to follow through with it, I would say like any financial investment would really be worth it because like I said, UX design salaries are very competitive. So that's all I'm really going to talk about today. I don't want this video to get too long because I want you guys to really absorb what I'm saying. Uh, you have to do stuff outside of your boot camp if you're going to take a boot camp, and you have to pick something that's going to match your learning style. Otherwise, there's no point. So you've got to work hard, but you also have to work smart. So I wish you all the best of luck. Remember, there's that 5% off discount in my description. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you decide to do a boot camp. Bye.